Hi, welcome back. So in the last episode we added these buttons, but they don't really do anything. So let's change this. So first off, um, uh, we have to tell the buttons what number they have. So let's make a private variable with an integer and let's call this number and make a public void in which we tell which uh, what number it is so set number and pass it the number and this dot number equals number okay in the buttons grid buttons grid view and in that in the adapter we tell the button which number it has which is position plus one and if you remember when we generated the the grid when we removed it it just became a zero and we don't draw zeros so the delete button is going to be dot set number zero but it's not going to change anything we just told the numbers with which numbers they are holding so in the game engine let's create two private variable which is going to be integers and selected pos x and selected pos y and they are going to be minus one one for initial initial lazy for the first value and we want to change it from outside the game engine so let's make a public void um, set selected position and pass to two integers which is going to be x and y and just pass it to the um, selected position and also for the y axis and um, in the Shudoku grid view, if we select one of these cells, we want to tell the game engine we selected this. So, game engine dot get instance dot set selected position x and y, and going to the number button. No, first game engine. Um, we want the number number button to tell the game engine we want to put this number in those places. So let's call this public void um, set number and it's going to get a number and if selected position x not equals minus one and selected position y not equals minus one then we want the grid to set the item set item x y and number but we don't have that function yet no not x selected position x and selected position y and in here let's make this function public void set item and x and y and int number 
So, sudoku x and y dot set value equals number. Let's run it. And as you can see, we select it and nothing happens because I always forget that we have to set the on click listener and also for oh my god we also have to tell the game engine that we press something so set number and number so And it's working! Yay! But there is a big problem with it. So if we run again, um, so this is the generated grid. If we pass something that is previously be being set. Um, we sh we we can modify that in in the real world, but we can just clear all. So we will continue with this in the next episode. Thanks you for thank you for watching and please subscribe and.